Communion is a holy, sacred event in the life of the church. We call it a sacrament. It is a gift that Christ has given us that in a physical, tangible way shares the love and grace of God with others. In the United Methodist Church, we believe that this sacrament is open to all who wish to be united with God through Christ, and it is the privilege and responsibility of those who have been baptized to help distribute the, co the communion elements. So at Spring Creek, we have men, women, old, young, children, teenagers helping serve communion. What we ask that you do is learn a little bit about how to do that. So this is a brief video intended to share with you what to do. As we have communion, one of the pastors will lead in a communion ritual and pray God's blessing over the communion elements. After he or she has led in what's called the Great Thanksgiving, he or she will invite those who are helping serve communion to come forward. We ask that you come forward and either stand near the piano or off to the side. We ask that you not stand in front of the pastor because he or she is going to continue to speak with the congregation and, and uh, tell them about how they will be receiving communion. When you come forward, one of the leaders will take the, the hand sanitizer and squirt a little bit into the palm of your hands. Take that and rub it around so that you don't give anybody cooties when you're serving communion. And then we will serve everyone who will be serving and send you to your respective station. You should have been told in advance where to go. If you're not sure where to go, just ask one of the pastors and we'll help you get to a spot. Um, and then we will send people off in pairs, just like Jesus sent them. One person will have the bread and one person will have the cup. It's a cup filled with Welch's grape juice. We often call it wine, but it's just Welch's grape juice. And we ask that you position yourself, stand, so that those who are coming to receive will first receive the bread and then receive the cup and then can simply flow and return back to, the, to your chairs. The person who is taking the bread, it'll be wrapped in cloth usually. We ask that you take off a piece of bread about that big big enough where someone won't get his or her fingers wet when she jump, dumps them in the juice, but not so big that she'll be chewing on it all afternoon. And take the bread, and so, when someone comes before you, he or she will stick out her hand, their hands, and we ask that you place the bread in the palm of their hands, look someone in the eye, and say, the body of Christ broken for you. If it's a child, I like to tell them, God loves you or Jesus loves you. Get down on a kid's level so that they, you can see them eye to eye. Then the per they will go to the person who is sharing the cup, the juice. And we ask that you hold the cup at a level where someone can easily dunk the bread into that juice. Look the person in the eye and say, the blood of Christ shed for you, or the cup of the new covenant given for you. If it's a kid, Again, I make sure I get it eye level for them and tell them God loves you or Jesus loves you so very much. And then the person will consume the communion bread. If someone accidentally drops the bread into the cup of juice, don't freak out about it. The world's not going to end. Simply ask for the, communion ser the bread server to give them another piece of bread and let them have another try. Sometimes people from other denominations may want to drink from the cup we ask that you not give them the cup to drink, tell them to dip their bread into it. If they do drink it, well, the world's not going to end, so just be gracious about it. After you've reserved everyone in your line, look for the ushers. They may have you go to another place in the congregation to help a line that's moving a little more slowly, or there may be someone who is not able physically to come forward and receive the communion elements, and you will need to go serve them in their chair. Then after everyone has been served, return the communion elements to the table or to one of the people who is presiding at communion, and they will place them back on the communion table. Make sure that you receive communion yourself if you didn't receive it at the beginning of the time. Serving and receiving communion is a sacred gift. It is a sacrament that Christ has given us that allows us to open our hearts to the living God. Thank you for being willing to give of yourself and share this gift with others.